Welcome to SRAM Technical Communications. This video will guide you through the full remote system bleed for RockShox Reverb and Reverb Stealth seat posts. You will need common bicycle maintenance tools, as well as a RockShox bleed kit. View a complete list of tools and supplies in the video description below. Raise the seat post to its highest position. Use a 4mm hex wrench to remove the saddle clamps and saddle. If you are bleeding the remote system on a reverb post with an externally routed hose, leave the seat post in the bicycle. To bleed the remote system on a reverb stealth, use a T25 Torx wrench to remove the remote from the handlebar, loosen the seat post clamp, and remove the post from the bicycle while simultaneously pushing the hose at the remote into the hose port in the frame. Position the seat post with the bleed port end up and secure it to the rear bicycle wheel with a large plastic cable tie. Ensure there are no sharp bends in the hydraulic hose. A sharp bend in the hose will prevent the fluid from flowing smoothly. Place a rag under the seat post to absorb any reverb hydraulic fluid that may drip when the seat post bleed screw is removed. Temporarily, mount the remote lever on the handlebar. Rotate the remote so that the bleed screw is at the highest point. Tighten the clamp bolt just enough so that the remote does not move. To avoid any contamination of fluid and the brake lever, remove the nearest brake lever from the handlebar and place it away from the remote. Do not allow reverb hydraulic fluid to come into contact with any brake components. Contaminated brake components can compromise brake performance may cause brake failure and can lead to serious injury or death. Turn the speed adjust knob in the opposite direction of the arrow until it stops. Rotating the speed adjuster to the slowest setting is critical to a successful bleed. Failure to do so may result in insufficient fluid volume inside the hydraulic remote system. Fill a RockShox bleed syringe with 20 milliliters of fluid. Hold the syringe upright, cover the tip with a rag, and gently depress the plunger to purge any air bubbles from the syringe. Only use syringes included in the RockShox bleed kit. Do not use syringes that have been in contact with dot brake fluid. Dot brake fluid will permanently damage the seals and cause the seat post to malfunction. Use a T10 Torx wrench to remove the bleed screw from the remote. Install the syringe into the remote bleed port. Fill the second bleed syringe with five millimeters of fluid. Hold the syringe upright, cover the tip with a rag, and gently depress the plunger to purge any air bubbles from the syringe. The reverb bleed screw is located at the post head. Use a T10 Torx wrench to remove the bleed screw and install the syringe into the bleed port. The Reverb Stealth bleed port is located at the base of the post. Use a T10 Torx wrench to remove the bleed screw from the poppet valve cover on the seat post and install the syringe into the bleed port. Depress the remote syringe plunger while pulling the seat post syringe plunger out. Then, depress the seat post syringe plunger while pulling the remote syringe plunger out. Repeat these steps several times until bubbles are no longer pulled from the remote lever and seat post into each syringe. Remove the syringe from the seat post bleed port. Use a T10 Torx wrench to reinstall the bleed screw and tighten it with a torque wrench. Use isopropyl alcohol and a rag to clean any fluid from the seat post and hydraulic hose. Pull up on the remote syringe plunger and slowly push the remote actuator with your thumb. Depress the syringe plunger until the remote actuator fully extends. Repeat this process until bubbles are no longer pulled from the remote into the syringe. Depress the syringe plunger once more and make sure the remote actuator is fully extended. Remove the syringe. 
Use a T10 Torx wrench to reinstall the bleed screw and tighten it with a torque wrench. Use isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag to clean any fluid from the remote, hose, and installed components. To test the remote hydraulic pressure, depress the remote actuator and release it to allow the actuator to return to its extended position five times. Pull back on the actuator. If the actuator does not move, the bleed was successful and is complete. If the actuator can be pulled back, Fluid volume is insufficient and the bleed procedure must be repeated. Reinstall the brake lever onto the handlebar and tighten it to the manufacturer's recommended torque. For Reverb Stealth, remove the remote from the handlebar. Use wire cutters to cut the cable tie that secured the seat post to the rear wheel. Apply a light amount of friction paste to the seat post. Failure to use friction paste could allow your seat post to slip during use, which could lead to serious injury and or death. Install the seat post into the bicycle frame while carefully pulling the hydraulic hose from the hose port in the frame. Tighten the seat post collar to the frame manufacturer's recommended torque, but do not exceed 6.7 newton meters. If the seat post collar torque exceeds 6.7 newton meters, the seat post will not function properly. Reinstall the saddle clamps and saddle onto the seat post. Tighten the saddle clamp bolts with a torque wrench. Install the remote onto the handlebar in the desired position and use a torque wrench to tighten the clamp bolt. Test the function of the seat post. Press the remote actuator and push the seat post down by hand. The seat post should compress when the remote actuator is pressed and should return to full extension when pressed again. Set the speed of the seat post movement by adjusting the speed adjust knob to a slower or faster setting. This concludes the Reverb and Reverb Stealth Full Remote System Bleed Procedure.